Damien, where are you? Damien, seriously, come on, it's not funny. Where are you? Can you believe this awesome place used to be a toxic waste dump? Actually, I heard a story about that, man. Like, apparently there's like this monster that when they cleaned up the whole area, got really upset because he like fed off of the garbage or whatever. And now he like comes out and kills people on the anniversary of them like cleaning all that stuff up. And it's actually supposedly tonight. Next time we order pizza. Come on in. Oh, Mrs. Cooper, come on in. Have a seat. So your phone call said you do something about the Silver Lake killer? That's right. I know who the Silver Lake monster is. Monster? We didn't say anything about a monster, lady. That's an urban legend, sweetheart. You can't believe everything you read. No. It's a monster. <laughs> and uh, how exactly do you know that? Because it's my husband. Listen, honey, if we had a nickel for every dame that walked in that door and said her husband was a monster... Do any of those dames have evidence? Because I do. Ten years ago, we moved to Silver Lake, and back then it was still a wasteland. The pollution had gotten so bad, it had been closed down for years. Politicians came, started their green initiative, cleaned it up. But a month before it opened to the public, Kids go out into the lake, have some fun, end up in a body bag, at least the parts they found. Yeah, and the politicians pinned that on a, a bear or a coyote or something, but the, the pictures didn't really match. The lake, that sludge, is what turned him into what he is. All the toxins and waste turned him into something pure evil. Turned him into a monster. So what do you think? I, I don't know. What do you think? All right, honey, we'll buy it. What do you got? I've got what you got, gentlemen. Blood. We've got plenty of blood evidence. But this isn't exactly human blood we're talking about, now is it? Please, you have to help me. He's on to me. He probably knows I'm here. My life is on the line. All right, all right, listen, calm down. Let, let us have the blood. We'll take care of it, we'll make sure it's safe. God, it's him. You have to help me. All right, listen, take this. Keep him from coming in. I'll get this in the safe, I'll get her taken care of. Go. What, just because you're the big brother, I have to do this? Yeah, I'm too old for this stuff. Okay, come on in the closet. At the back of this, we have the evidence safe. We'll get it locked up in here with our other samples, and it'll be safe. We're not going to be able to get out of here, but we can hide in here, and we should be okay. 